I'm in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress and I'm speaking with Stefan Nietjens. He's the chairman of the Multifire Alliance. So Stefan, uh, welcome. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about Multifire? It's a, it's a new name uh, uh, in, the, in the market. Yeah, absolutely, Ray. And thanks for coming and making time to see us. Uh, so Multifire is a LTE-based technology, right? So, but the big difference between the other LTE-based technologies and unlicensed is, is that you can put it entirely in unlicensed. So you don't need any anchor in license. So if you want to build your own LTE network, you could do it if you like. So fully standalone solution in, in unlicensed. The reasons why we were doing it is because we think it enables additional use cases. So it has a number of performance and quality of service benefits. So and so far, looking at the feedback we're getting, people are recognizing those, those benefits. Okay, so there's already unlicensed technologies out there, so how does Multifire coexist basically with something like Wi-Fi? Oh, well, I guess the basis of anything you put in unlicensed is that you need to work on the coexistence, right? So, so Multifire, similarly to LA, LTE, uh, of course, coexist harmoniously, so we have to listen before talk. Um, so fair sharing is a, is a basic principle, and I okay. think when we design Multifire, we knew that's the starting point of any kind of solution we put there. Okay, so who's actually going to benefit from the development of Multifire? Who's going to use it? What are the services going to be like? Who, who might make some money out of it? Oh, well, let's start. Who benefits? Well, <laughs> of course, I think uh, the end users, uh, maybe that's the starting point. I think it's another uh, enhancement to the things, you know, the telecom industry and communication industry can do for them. But then if you look a little bit more specifically, so. Of course, there is the operators to start with. So for them, it's another possibility to augment the quality of the network, especially when you go indoors. Right. So they don't have any co-channel um, you know, challenges. They can simply deploy a bubble of high quality connectivity, which still has mobility to their macro network because Multifire so, is LTE based, right? So you have this seamless mobility and handovers okay. there. The other side is neutral host. So Multifire is in the five gig band, which is a global band. So that means that if it's part of the devices, of course, any device can roam into Multifire. So if you have a shopping mall, typically you have operators putting in their different distributed antenna systems, small cells. Or if you put Multifire, it works for everybody. So, so Neutral Holes is another big one. And then, of course, enterprises that like to right. do something. So yeah. they can modernize the way they do business in a factory, in a hospital, so you can bring their you know, this kind of mission critical connectivity, which maybe other technologies cannot entirely provide. Okay. And so the, the Multifire Alliance, so which companies or, or bodies or organizations are, are actually behind that? Who's supporting Multifire? So, so Multifire is a uh, independent organization. It's a non-profit established in California. So it's uh, set up by uh, Qualcomm and Nokia. Um, and then we have two additional founding members, so Intel and Ericsson. And we are now in the recruiting phase of uh, building the alliance. So we had Boingo joining, Spider Cloud, Ruckus Wireless, Atonet, Basel in China. It's only established in December, so we only have three months runway. All right. And I think the response is fine. So quite satisfied at what, what we see at the moment. Excellent. All right. Well, that's big names on board and obviously a, a big application. Definitely see a future in it. So yeah. thanks very much for speaking to us thanks today, for coming. Stefan. Thank and, you. Uh, see you again. Yeah, absolutely. All right.